apps, streaming, servers, browsers. Who keeps their eyes on the wireless world while you are watching? And can its stock raise eyebrows? While we're out here in San Francisco, we need to talk about New Relic, a relatively low-profile software company with a stock that's totally caught fire over the last six weeks. For those of you who don't watch the show religiously, shame on you, New Relic is a cloud-based software company with a unique niche. Their platform helps clients monitor and measure what their business software is doing and how their users are interacting with it in real time. In short, New Relic's analytics engines, like a sophisticated dashboard, gives companies a ton of insight into their own digital operations that they probably wouldn't have otherwise. Now, last year, kind of a forgettable year for New Relic because the stock sold off hard in early 2016, but it was like so many other cloud names. That's what happened. Spent the rest of the year recovering that lost ground until it finally sold off again in the fourth quarter. But 2017, already shaping up to be a very different story. First, near the end of January, New Relic suddenly got red hot when we learned that Cisco was acquiring AppDynamics, its biggest competitor, right before the company was set to come public. New Relic stock popped more than 10% on the news. And that was just the beginning, because then last week the company reported a terrific quarter. Yet New Relic delivered a smaller than expected loss, higher than expected revenue, up 43% year over year, some of the best revenue growth we've seen, and very strong guidance for both the next quarter and the full year. Stock didn't rally much after the quarter, but I think that's only because it had already spiked 10% the week before. So can New Relic maintain its newfound momentum? Let's check in with Lou Cerny. He's the founder and CEO of New Relic to learn more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Cerny, welcome back to Mad Money. Oh, it's Pleasure to be back here, Jim. Lou, since we see you last, you uh, kind of got a landmark deal with Amazon that I think is so important, Amazon Web Services. I just want you to tell our viewers about it because it is so important to your future. Well, it is because it's so important to our enterprise customers. Look, there are two big trends happening right now in the enterprise. One is the digital imperative. You have to reach your customers with digital. And the second is the secular move to the cloud. Companies are getting out of the data center business. Right. And so while these big changes are happening, they need a dashboard to see how their software is running in the cloud. Could be Amazon Web Services, could be Google's cloud, could be Microsoft's cloud, could be IBM's cloud. And New Relic provides that real-time dashboard into the business. So what we announced on our earnings call is that we're partnering with Amazon, as we do with other, customer, uh, other cloud providers, in a variety of ways. Because together, New Relic's dashboard plus the new infrastructure uh, platforms provided by cloud providers okay. helps, our, helps enterprises make that migration. All right. Now, let's... let's uh conjecture here. If we didn't have you, if yeah. it was a bricks and mortar store, we know that the customers are coming in. We don't have a problem. There's like, wow, there's no customers coming in. What's going on? Right. Is it possible to tell if you're Domino's, a good customer, that something's going wrong without New Relic? Our customers tell us time and time again, after deploying New Relic, they feel like they've gone from being blind to seeing, seeing their digital customers, seeing their digital business. Let's take one of our customers, okay. Domino. Imagine right. Super Bowl Sunday. Think of how many pizzas were ordered on the phone. What if, that, what if that app wasn't working? What if the servers couldn't handle the load? Uh, Domino's could see in real time the health of that system and make sure that those applications could order those pizzas. That's the heart of their business, and we're proud to serve them in that way. Um, you do the same in another company that we have liked very much, Six Flags. What do you do for them? Because that's been a huge winner for us. Well, if you look at you know, Six, Six Flags and other theme parks, again, digital is transforming the customer experience. Right. You, you know, on your phone, you see how long the rides are. You know, at Six Flags, they've come on record saying, if you get on your seventh ride in a day, that's going to dramatically improve the customer experience. And the mobile app helps make sure every customer can get that seventh ride. And New Relic makes sure that's working. We're the dashboard for that per project. Now, uh, when I saw Cisco buy a competitor of yours, I immediately yeah. said, now, is that going to be good news or bad news for New Relic? Because Cisco's a big dog with a lot of cash. Look, Cisco's a great company. It's undoubtedly good news for us. If there's one thing that's clear, our enterprise strategy is winning in public cloud environments. That's where we dominate. And Cisco's a strong company, but they're particularly strong in on-premise uh, on premise deployments, obviously with a network center of gravity. Mm -hmm. um, our competitor, AppDynamics, a strong company, but their strength is on the on-premise workloads. There's a healthy size market there, but unquestionably, the future is in the public cloud, and that's where we're headed. Okay. Uh, speaking of where you're headed, one of the things that I know some of our viewers, they got, you know, I was very excited about your company because I love the idea of the dashboard and what you do for these companies. But was, people were concerned. You say, Jim, this is a company that's got great revenue growth, but when is it ever going to make money? Look, Jim, we've got amazing unit economics. Not only did we deliver 43% year-over-year growth last year, we also improved our operating margins by 1,500 basis points last year which is, we think, a, a fantastic you know, testament to the health of our, of our model. We've got 83% gross margins. That's very rare in enterprise SaaS companies, and we think it's best in class. 
Um, we, we've been consistent in our messaging that uh, by the end of the next fiscal, about a year from now, we'll be a cash flow positive and, a, uh, and an operating profit uh, company, non-GAAP operating profit. Um, but we're a growth company, and right. the strongest growth is coming from our enterprise segment. Now, uh, when Cisco uh, bought your competitor, did you immediately worry that someone might buy you? Because I know when I spoke to you last, that's not your goal. Your goal is to grow this company. You don't want to end it right now. Look, we just see this amazing opportunity. These right. trends I'm talking about, digital and cloud, we're in the first inning of this transformation. And we're in the position to dominate in the public cloud segment. So um, we've got this amazing opportunity. You know, the, the acquisition of AppDynamics certainly serves as validation mm -hmm. that this category of software is important and strategic. Um, but we see a great opportunity as an independent company, and that's how we're going to run the business. Yeah, I agree. I think your mar the way I like to look at it is your market cap is too low versus the opportunity that's ahead of you. That's Lou Cerny. He's the, co he's the founder and CEO of New Relic, which I think is a very exciting company. That its stock is finally reflecting, I think, the greatness of what they offer. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.